Welcome back to CS Tech, my name is Claudio and in the next part of the video I'm gonna explain you and then we're gonna unbox a wall box, a charging station, three phases, rated to 22 kilowatts and of course made in China and with only $400 price. So let's get started. <music> Welcome back. Like I told you earlier, I'm Claudio, I'm from the CS Tech, and in this video we're gonna unbox a charging station, a level 2 charging station for your EV car. If you live in Europe, you can order this from AliExpress. Of course, you have links into the description below, and they will deliver it from Germany or from Italy or from France in only a few days. For example, I'm living in Romania, and the, our partners from Morek that they send this station to us just deliver in two days. So I think it's a damn fast shipping for this kind of EV stuff. So let's get started and let me tell you a little disclaimer at the beginning. First of all, English is not my native language, so I hope you can understand everything I'm trying to explain in this video. If you don't understand anything, just write me in the comment below and I'll try to explain you right in right uh, all the stuff you don't understand. I hope I write English better than I speak, so I hope again you can understand. This wall station is designed to be installed in your house or in your home or in your garage. It's not a public station, so you can't have any access code on her. For example, if you mount this into a public garage, anyone can charge your, uh, the car from your station. Because this station is plug and play. Just put in the car, push a power button and automatically will start charging the car. The, this model don't have any app, don't have any special settings that you can do in order to charge your car. All the settings you must done, you must made in fact, in your car app and of course in your car display. For example, we charge the same, we charge a Tesla Model S with the same uh, station and of course the only settings that we can made was made from the Tesla display. You, we can set the amount of energy that is draining from this station to the car from the car app. So it's a home station, it's a cheap one, it's the one without app. Our partners from China told us that this model will have in the future an app and of course we'll be shipping only from China because they don't have this kind of station with app into the warehouse and of course the station with the app it's the little one that you see over there so let's unbox this station and I of course we try to cover all uh, other things in the next part of the video once you receive the unit you will see that you have a box that is well packed the station the wall box inside it's well packed and of course has a lot of protection first of all you have a bubble protection and of course you will see a user manual. The manual show you how to install this station and of course I recommend you to work only to install only with uh, authorized personnel because this station has three facing and of course it's very dangerous for you so don't try to do this at home without any uh, professional installer. installer. In fact I install myself so depend of you. Okay once you remove the bubble protection we'll see the station. Let me pull out the station from here and drop this big box away oh a lot of cables okay first of all we're gonna talk about cables because this one is three faces have a very very big cables take a look this is the uh, power cable this will be connected to your power line of course, I recommend you to mount on this side of the cable a protection, differential protection that uh, will be disconnected automatically in case of a failure. For example, if in the future you will damage the cable and the cable will stay in the water outside, once the differential uh, RCB will detect the leakage, automatically will disconnect and of course will save your life. So try to install a protection on this side of the cable. Over here you will see that you will have five cables. For example, you have L1, L2, L3 and of course you have your neutral and of course you have the earth protection. For those that don't have at home three phases connection, they can use only one phase. This station can work okay with only one phase. For example, you will use only L1 and of course the neutral and earth protection and the station will work and will charge the car only in one line. This is very okay for that one that have, for example, like me, a small car that don't uh, drain from the station with three faces, drain only with one face. But of course, in the near future, I will buy a Tesla and of course, I will charge my Tesla with the same station. 
like I told you earlier, we test this one on a particular model S20, uh, I think. 2019 if I don't wrong okay doesn't matter we charge a Tesla with this one the, the Tesla has a rated charger uh, for uh, 11 kilowatts and of course the station will deliver it exact uh, 11 kilowatts so this is the cable this is the way you can connect the station so I make a small recap you can use with three phases on three phases connection and of course you can use, use in one phase connection for those one that have a car that is one phase and you have of course at home three phase connection don't worry just connect the station to the three phase but the car and the station will deliver energy only in one phase basically the car will drain energy only from one phase because don't have a connection for three phases so in both way this station is more than perfect for small car and of course for bigger car the small car don't have the apps so you can select the amount of energy so the station will charge the battery with full amps that can deliver it. in my case my smart eq don't have an app that allow me to select how much energy can i must drain from the station so in this case the station will deliver uh, 20 amps that is the maximum amps that can be drained from the car so we talk about connection, we talk about the station, and let's talk about the cable. This station has already built in a 5 meters 3 phases cable. The connection inside the cables, the small cables inside this big cable are 6 millimeters. You think, take a closer look, it's the same cable like this. You have 3 or 6 millimeters by face, and of course the other two that is uh, earth protection and uh, uh, ground protection. So. The cable is very, very big and of course is very, I don't know how to say in English, you can, <laughs> you can bend with your hand, take a closer look. The cable is very, very soft and of course is long, it's 5 meters long like I said you earlier. It's a heavy one, I think have 3 kilos only, only this cable. Okay, on this side you have the type 2 connection. If you live in Europe you will see you have the type 2 connection. Over here you can see all the pins are filled because this station can deliver energy, like I said earlier, uh, either in one phase or either in three phase, depends of your car. The connector and the hand connector is very big. One friend of mine say, oh my god, this is a DC high voltage connector. No, it's just AC connector but it's very heavy and you have a very, a very strong position if you put in your car. At the end, have a rubber product, uh, protection. The rubber will be put over here if you plan to leave this outside or if you don't mount into the garage. In the yellow package, let's see what we have over here. In the yellow package, you have screws from the station and of course you have a wall mounted uh, device that you can put in your wall and of course you can hang the cable from, uh, from, this, uh, from this handle. Okay, we talk about cable, we talk about connection, and let's talk about station. So, this station is very simple. As a design, you can see it has a flat design, and of course it's a plastic, it's painted in grey. And onto the back you can see a metal plate that allows you to mount this into the wall. On the bottom you can see, I don't know if you can see, but has a, a lock mechanism where you can put a lock and uh, fix this into the wall to prevent anyone to steal it. So, plastic, metal on the back and of course the, the front is from plastic. You can see over here it's a shiny surface, in this moment has a protection foil on, the, on it and have an LCD display. On this display you can see the amount of energy that is drained from, uh, from the station to your car. You can see how much energy was delivered to the car and of course you can see the current time uh, from this current session. In order to power on this, this device you just press the side button and once you press this, this station will start and of course will wait the car in order to start charging. Let's make a little test because, oh sorry, let's make a little test because I want to show you how I can how I connect this station to only two faces. For example in Europe if you live at home and you have only 220 connection, 20 volts connection you can use only L1 and L2. So I have here, uh, I don't know where is it, let's find it, okay. I have, I made a small adapter, I have 220 Shuko connector, let's put into the wall and let's connect over here the neutral and of course the L1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be very careful when you do this at home without... Come on! 
I hope we stay like this. Okay, once you power the, the station, the LCD will tell you the station will be shut down in 10 seconds. So let's press the power on button and the LCD will start. On the LCD, how I said earlier, you have a message that will uh, put you to connect uh, the type to connection into the car. Once the car communicates with the, the wall box, automatic will deliver the energy. The amount of energy that is delivered to the car will be shown on this display. So in this way, you can use this charging station, wall box or level to charger with only two faces. Be very careful, you have it here L2 and L3, just ask someone that is professional in this in this uh, field to come. And this was my video for today. This is the wall box, the charging station for your car, the level 2 charging that you can install in your home. Of course, it's very cheap. It's around 500 US dollars and 450 euros if you live in Europe. They will deliver it from Germany, from Italy, from France, from US or even from China if you order from worldwide. So if you have any question, don't hesitate. Write me in the comment area below. I will try my best to uh, answer to your questions. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, don't hesitate. Hit the bell, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you want, you can share this video with your friends. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.